run. Just run. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to the haul video from the car boot that I did on the 25th of August. So, pretty good car boot, obviously it was quite a nice day, or it is quite a nice day weather-wise, we're still on the 25th. Um, and I thought what I would do is quickly record this haul video, now I'm home, now I've got everything sorted. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll go through what I picked up. Couple of fails in here, uh, one item in particular that I'm kind of a little bit disappointed with i thought it'd be worth a little bit more than it is um and it's a shame because i really do think it it, it deserves more than it's worth essentially but with that being said we'll get on with this now We've got a fairly big haul to get through so obviously i don't want this video to be an hour or anything like that but it probably will be a little bit more of a longer one um but yeah that being said let's get on with the first item so I'll start with something fairly generic i suppose this uh reindeer it's a builder bear reindeer i'll show you on the bottom here build a bear there's the tag um and yeah it's like a little reindeer dressed in some sort of clothing obviously it's been customized um and yeah i don't know i mean these are all over the place really there's some listed below a tenner and some that are sold below a tenner there's some listed and sold sort of 10 to 15 so i'm probably going to go high end because this has clothing on it um and some of the ones that i've seen for, that have sold for less haven't got clothing with them so i'm probably going to go for 15 and if i need to come down uh, you know maybe i need to come down to 12.99 then i'm perfectly fine doing that i paid a quid for this so again nice profit on that even if i'm only getting sort of 12.99 plus postage but yeah that's that one there anyway so next we've got this um audi r8 lms um it's sort of like a little remote control car it's brand new in the packet i generally when i'm at car boots and at charity shops i just gravitate towards things that are easy to deal with these days i don't try and get things that are going to take me forever to test or forever to check or anything like that that being said i have picked up a couple of board games today but they're the hardest things in this haul to deal with you'll notice if you've got a little bit of a uh, a discerning guy that um, essentially when I'm going through all this it'll be things that are just whack on the photo area kind of uh, things and then just just list them so yeah um, that's kind of what I like doing and that might be the reason why in certain charity shops I'm not picking up as much as I used to because what I'm doing is I'm being more selective and just picking up items that are very very easy to deal with opposed to things that in the past I will have picked up but they're a lot harder to deal with and I have to sink a bit more time into them. So yeah, anyway, this is an Audi, as I say, Audi R8 LMS, a little remote control car. There's none listed or even sold, I don't think, in the UK. I think there's either one listed or one has been sold internationally for around the £15 mark. So I was thinking maybe around 20 on that, go a little bit higher, uh, £20 plus my postage, um, and then possibly, as I say, if I need to come down, then I need to come down. It might even be worth on some of these items you know that have kind of there's one listed internationally but there's none in this country it kind of is sometimes worth putting it up a little bit the price so i might even go 25 quid on that and see if it gets picked off and if it doesn't there's no harm in it because i can always reduce later on anyway so it's always worth you know just kind of having a little bit of confidence with your pricing and going a little bit high to begin with and then slowly coming down i paid three pound for this so it's not much of an investment really so if i do get that 25 quid or that 20 quid then i'll be very happy but if i have to come down to 15 it's still a half decent profit so yeah that's that one there anyway so next now i paid a fiver for this and i paid a fiver for it because it's royal dalton and it's the charles dickens dickens series i don't know whether it's series where I'm guessing it might be series wear actually, um, but yeah, it's Charles Dickens series here, and it's this fair size kind of water jug, milk jug or something. Um, I don't know, it might be a bit big for a milk jug, but maybe I suppose you could put milk in it still. But um, it's really really nice, and I paid a fiver for it, and I think that this is deserving deserving of about twenty twenty five pound. Now there's only one sold that I can see. I, I've only done a quick bit of research on all these items before this whole video. Try and do research on pretty much everything before the video. But as I say, when I do, I only do a quick bit of research because obviously I want to get on and record the video and then get on and actually photograph and list some of this stuff. But I did a quick bit of research. There's one sold for ten pound plus postage. Now that is on auction. So when you're listing on buy it now normally you list a little bit higher than the auction prices 
So hopefully, I am going to put this on, and I might be shooting a little bit, but I'm probably going to put this on for 25 quid plus postage, and if I need to come down, which I probably will, then um, I will come down possibly... I think I'll get a sale at 20 quid. I think 20 quid plus postage should be okay for this item. I think it's fully deserving of it. Um, but yeah, bit of a shame because obviously I paid a fiver for it. And if I knew it was worth that at the time, I probably would have only paid two or three quid for it really. But I thought I would take a punt on it seeing as it being World Alton and it just looked quite appealing. So yeah, fiver for that. Possibly regretting it a little bit. Because, as I say, I would have liked to pay a little bit less knowing uh, the sale price of it. But, yeah, that's that one anyway. So, next, a staple pickup for kind of your vintage board games down for. This is the longer box version. I always forget whether it's the longer box version or the square box version that goes for more money. And I've said that on video before as well, but I always forget it. Um, but it seems that top end for this one is 20 quid. So, that's your top end. Um, and then more likely sort of £15 plus your postage. I paid a quid for it. So, I... Either way, it doesn't matter. There's still great profit in it for me, even at 15 quid or 20 quid. So yeah, I was really, really happy when she said uh, it's only a quid. So that's quite a nice little item to pick up. Another sealed item, again, pretty standard. Um, Harry Potter Trivial Pursuit. This is going in my Amazon FBA uh, quarter four pile. I mentioned in a vlog I did a couple of days ago. I don't know, maybe this video will get... Um, uploaded you know after that or before it, i'm not sure but i mentioned in the vlog anyway at some point um that i do want a few more items for quarter four so i was pretty happy to get that she wanted a fiver for it no. and i literally i was so cocky i just said yeah the best i can do is two quid and then she said would you do 250 and i thought yeah go on then so i mean sometimes just bartering techniques is just being maybe like you don't care i, I just literally said yeah, best I can do is two quid. And it almost looked like I didn't really care. Maybe that kind of helps. I don't know with bartering. But yeah, so I got half the price off of that. I thought I wouldn't actually be picking it up as soon as she said a fiver. Um, it goes for £13.50 on Amazon. So two fifty is a little bit, you know, just a touch much. You know, as I say, I would have liked to pay two quid. But you never know. In quarter four, these things can go up a little bit. With something like this, generally Amazon's going to be in stock most of quarter four. So it's probably not going to go up much. But you never know. I might be able to get 15 quid out of it. So yeah, that's that one there anyway. So, uh, Woody the Woodpecker. Now I saw this and I thought, oh, that's interesting. I, th I think I have seen these before. And I don't know why, but I thought, I bet there's some money in this. Um, and I uh, looked at the tag on the back and it's like a, well, I don't, you can't see that very well, can you? Oh, that tail's getting in the way. You see that now, it's an official Woody the Woodpecker one. I think it's official anyway. It looks official. Um, and yeah, I'm looking probably around, what have I, I've wrote all the prices down here, most of them. Uh, I, I don't know why, I should have been looking at the list, but I think I remembered a few of the prices anyway. But Woody Woodpecker, 15 quid, I'm thinking on that one. And I paid two quid for that, so again, nice little profit in that. 15 quid plus my postage is hopefully what I will get. Possibly I may need to come down to 12 99 There was a few sales for around the 12 99 And there was a few smaller versions of the same plush going for less than a tenner. But this is a larger version, so I should be able to get that sort of higher price point. But yeah, two quid, nice little profit in that one. Now, these are cool, and I want to spend a minute talking about these, because these are something that I've never picked up before. I've pretty much totally overlooked but i have a friend actually who lives around here and i you know i stop and chat to him when when i go for a walk and stuff and i see him and he's got a, i think he's got an issue with his knee or something at the moment he's a lot older than me just a guy from the local area really and he's got an issue with his knee at the moment as i say and he's bought one of these one of these kind of walking aids or walking canes or sticks or whatever you want to call them um and he said it's been really really good so with that on my mind from a few days ago i looked at these at the car boot and thought hang on a minute i bet you there's some money in these you know so uh these are i'll just hold them up to the camera lecky and then the like uh macula is the style of these or kind of a line macula macala macula uh, i don't know how to pronounce that but anyway lecky and obviously it's a pair of these walking aids and uh, yeah they seem to go for decent money these two i'm going to be hopefully getting around 40 pound for two of these on bids have gone for 33 quid so i'm just upping the price a little bit because obviously when i'm pricing by it now i just increase that a little bit from the auction sales so hopefully get around 40 quid for them too i paid a fiver for the pair he originally wanted six quid but i got him down to a fiver and i was more than happy with that i would have paid the six quid to be honest but you know it's in my nature just to at least get a little bit of money off so yeah 
five quid for them into hopefully 40 quid. Happy with that, nice little sale, nice little pick up there. So another standard builder bear this time um, from the same stall. Again, it was a pound. Now I've sold one of these standard builder bears not too long ago. Well, I say not too long ago. It's probably about four months or five months ago now. But I got a tenner plus postage for it. It was pretty much exactly the same as this. Maybe a slight different colour, but it was just a standard one. And I got a tenner plus postage. Now I've not done any research on these standard ones um, on eBay today, but I would imagine they're going to be similar price. So hopefully if I, if I wait a little bit, I'll be able to get £10 plus my postage out of that. And again, I paid a quid. It's a builder bear there. Um, paid a quid, so nice little profit in that. Again, bread and butter item. These Most of these are all bread and butter items, but a nice little bit of profit. And it's always good when you can get, you know, nice... You know, you get a nice price for something, one or two pound into 10 to 20 quid. The margins are there. It's looking good. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to complain with bread and butter items if I'm getting them at that price. So next, a little bit better value item this time. Now I paid three pound for this. It is the World at War box set. I think it was. I think Darren's had this before. Darren Smart, Smart Reselling. Um, so I think that's why I kind of gravitated towards it. It's brand new and sealed, as I said. Um, and yeah, three pound for it on Amazon. It seems to go for twenty seven quid. So three quid into 20, 27 quid i will take that all day long yeah glad i picked that up he wanted five quid for it originally i said three quid and he accepted it so it's kind of half expecting him to say four quid but he didn't he just accepted it so i was pretty happy with that i wasn't sure a five of i thought is this what the one that goes for half decent money or is it not the one that goes for half decent money so i didn't really want to pay a fiver so i'm glad that i got it for three quid so yeah that's that one there anyway oh so now we've got a se selection of brand new and tagged builder uh, not builder bear me to you bears you know like the blue nose and gray bears um and i paid 50 well i didn't pay 50 p each she wanted 50 p each for these and i got five of them but then when i was coming to pay she said i'll oh, just give me two quid for them so i actually got them for 40 p each and i think that's a pretty decent price I know that there's some of the larger ones that sell for okay money. I didn't know about these smaller ones, but I thought 40 p each, there's got to be something in them. So I've got a kind of like a Valentine's Day one here. We've got a rose or something on here. Again, all brand new with, tag, uh, with tags. Again, a smaller uh, Valentine's Day one. So maybe that'll go as a little bundle. Now, I was looking on Complete and Solds. I can't see these exact ones. And to be honest, they're all over the place. So what I've wrote down is I'm going to do maybe a couple of bundles. Maybe one bundle of three, one bundle of two, something like that. And what did I say here? 10 to £15 plus my postage a bundle, something like that. If I do some more research on completing solds and be able to find the specific ones, then maybe I'll see that the maybe you know I need to price a little bit higher. But for now, that's what I've kind of gone with. So I might do sort of these two Valentine's Day ones as a pair, maybe for twelve ninety nine, fourteen ninety nine plus my postage, something like that. Again, I'd say brand new and tagged, so that'll help them as well. So that's those two there. So forty p each on those. And then I've got a Christmas one. Now, I don't know whether these Christmas ones do better, so it might be one to go on its own, but it does look like quite a small little bear, so I don't know. It might not not might not might be worth selling on its own, but you never know. A Christmas theme one might do well. We've got my first Tatty Teddy there. Uh, again, brand, brand new with tag. And then we've got another wintry type themed one there with a scarf and hat. A little bit larger, this one. So yeah, that's those. 40p each. I thought, you know what? I can't complain with that. I'm going to grab those for that price. I was kind of half expecting her to say, oh, she wants a quid each. And I wouldn't have paid it a quid each because, of uh, you know, the sizes of them are quite small ones. And maybe the larger ones will go better. So yeah, but I was, I was still happy uh, that she didn't say a quid and that she said 50p. And I thought, yeah, I'll take a chance for those. So I'll do the one other fail, really, of this haul. Uh, and then we'll get on and uh, look at like the uh, main couple of job lots that I bought from, from the car boot. So this is kind of a bit of a fail now. I thought this was good. And I think that sometime in the past this was good. Uh, Chain Reaction. It's a drum and park game. Same series as... Is it the Logo game? And is it... Um Oh, what's the other one? Logo game, Logo What Am I? All that sort of stuff. I'm pretty sure it's the same series. No, it isn't. It's... um. No, I don't think it is Logo Game, is it? I think it's Articulate. That's what I'm thinking of. Same series as Articulate. Um, 
might be the logo game as well. That might be Drum and Park, but I, I can't remember actually. But it's from a decent series, and I thought this was actually pretty good. I don't know where I found that. I'm sure someone picked it up ages ago and said it's it's worth picking up. It's maybe about fifteen pound game. Well, it's not anymore. Even if it was back then, it's definitely not now. Um, yeah, the maximum I'm going to get out of this is ten pound, and that'll be free postage. And I paid two fifty for it, so that was just yeah a fail. Uh, for, it was fun, funnily enough, it's the first item I picked up as well. And always, well not always, but most of the time on the first item I pick up, I make a fail. So um, yeah, it's funny that that worked out the way it did. But you know, if I got it for a quid, it wouldn't have been so much of a fail because there'd be a bit more, a bit more profit in it. But as it stands, there's probably what two quid profit in it or something not a lot of profit in it really so it's a bit of a fail but at least i'm going to get my money out of it and p potentially a little bit of profit but i'm going to price it to sell possibly around that 10 pound um and it should sell fairly well at that you know that is kind of top end but i have seen a few sales at that um fairly recently so it should go at that and uh, yeah we'll see we'll hopefully get my money out of it and then i can reinvest into other things but you always do that you know you're always going to make a fail or two if you can get your money out of it or you can even get a bit of profit out of it then you're winning and you can just invest into something else the best thing with fails is to turn them around quickly don't you know don't try and get good profit out out of them so i wouldn't list this at 14.99 just so that then i can get a good margin out of it i would list it low get my money out of it and then i can reinvest that money into something that i can make a better margin on because if i listed this for 14.99 it wouldn't sell it would take forever to sell and then obviously i've got that two quid tied up in it or two pound fifty tied up in it forever so i know you've got to swallow your pride a little bit um, in some circumstances anyway, but it's best to just price low even if you're just breaking even and then reinvest your money into something else So yeah, that's that one there anyway So next I got yeah, I was really uh, happy to pick these up actually I've got a nice little bundle here two two uh, Two hardbacks and four paperbacks of David Walliams books now it lo looking on complete and sold They're all over the place absolutely all over the place Um some bundles have got around the 15 to 20, there are a few people who've got that. And then there's other ones, there's other smaller bundles that have gone for less than a tenner and it's absolutely all over the place. I know that for a bundle like this, you used to be able to get around 20 quid, possibly even a little bit more, plus your postage. Um, or, you know, especially if you had another couple of books on top of this as well. But now it seems a bit all over the place really. So I'm thinking between 15 and 20 pounds for this bundle. Again, that's probably going to the top top end of what they sell for, but I still think I should get a fairly quick turnaround, even at 15 or 20, on this bundle, especially if I do a few nice pictures, uh, seeing as there is a couple of hardbacks in there as well. Um, so yeah, it's quite a nice little bundle that I paid 50p a book, so that comes in at, what, £3 their cost. So if I can get 15 or 20 from 3 quid, I'm happy with that. Nice little bit of profit there. Um, and yeah, glad I was glad to pick up some children's books, especially David Walliams, because I always love selling his books. I don't know why, I just... I just like selling them and I always seem to get a fairly quick turnover on them when I do get them. But it's been a very long time since I have had had any. So, yeah, glad that I picked those up. And then before I get on with the two uh, larger job lot of the car boot that I mentioned, there's just this one figure here. It's, now, it's a Royal Dalton figure. It's a classic poo collection. And I saw it and I thought, oh my god, that's going to be good money. That's going to be 30 or 40 quid all day long. And for whatever reason, these classic poo... I mean, I've never had these. I just assumed because it was Royal Dalton, it's classic, you know, it's Winnie the Pooh, it's a nice ceramic figure, got, you know, it's in its box, it's got, like, certificates and everything in there, got to be worth 30 or 40, you know, and this is why you shouldn't assume. But anyway, so she says, oh, that that's only a fiver, and, and, and my eyes a little puff, oh, yeah, that, yeah, I'm going to be great profit in that. Anyway, I'll show you the figure, and it's a beautiful figure. It, it's deservant of 30 or 40 quid. It's such a shame that it's not worth that, because it is deservant of that, in my opinion. Um, it's a lovely little figure here. Really, really well done. Royal Dalton. Uh, Rue, is it... Um a clean little Rue is best, it's called, or something. Uh, WP54 is a little... I think that's the item number or something. Um, and it's got copyright Disney and everything there. 2003 it was done in. But I thought, with the box, lovely little figure. 30 or 40 quid, gotta be. But for whatever reason, I don't know why, but a lot of the stuff from this classic Pooh poo range isn't performing as well as it should be. Really, it should be worth that. It should be worth that. 
Now, the top end, top, top, top end I'm going to get on this is 20 quid plus my postage. And that, I'm only going to shoot for that because I've got the box and I've got the little certificates and stuff in here as well. So I am going very, very high on that. I'm going to wait on it. Um, but it's such a shame. And I am a bit annoyed that I paid a five for it. Again, similar to that... Um, what was the other thing that I was a little bit of uh, had a little bit of regret on paying a fiver for? Oh, that Dalton jug, Royal Dalton again, that other Royal Dalton jug. Funny how that works. But yeah, I mean, it's a lovely item, and I and I love it for what it is. And it's just a shame that it isn't worth more. But there's the certificate things anyway. It comes in its nice little box, um, and that's what I'm going to price it at. And I'm not going to take less than that because it's worth every bit of twenty quid that. Um, and it should be worth a lot more, but I'm not going to price higher than that, because if I price any higher than that, I'm just not gonna, never going to get the sale, and it, and it's my job to sell things, not to just sit on them, um, so yeah, but it should it should be worth more of that, and, it, and that's what's disappointed me today, not necessarily in terms of like, you know, okay, I'm going to take a little bit of a sacrifice on profit, but it's the fact that that item should be worth 30 or 40 quid, it's worth every bit of that, it's quality item, and it's worth every bit of that, maybe one day it will be, it probably will be one day to be honest, but at the moment it's not worth that, and it is a bit of a shame, um, so yeah, that's that one there anyway, in its little box, and then uh, what else we got, we've got these two job lots to share with you now, so I will get the first little job lot up to show you. Right, so what I'm going to do is just literally flip you around and share with you that cutlery um, because I think it's just going to be easier rather than getting it up one by one and stuff. I'll just, I'll just give you a little bit of a pan of the job lot, possibly go for a couple of items and stuff. But it does look like there's some good items in there and it looks like to me that there is a nice little set of some knives, possibly even some forks in there as well with them or maybe some spoons actually, uh, that I could make some good money on. So yeah, I'll flip you around now and we will have a look at that little job lot that I paid a fiver for. So here is the job lot of EPNS cutlery. There is quite a lot of it. Um, and yeah, fiver for this job lot. You can see there's these sort of patterns on most of these pieces of cutlery. So it's possibly a set. I don't know whether this is EPNSE or whether this is, this bit might be, um, Oh, what am I trying to say? Stainless steel. But there's also a load of EPNS stuff in here as well. This is EPNS here. Um, what does that say? P Bros. Uh, and I think there's quite a lot of this stuff in here. We've got a few of the old kind of ivory handles. Again, these, even as a little set, these will go for some money. If I got, let's say if I got six of these knives, which I most definitely have, that would even be like £10, £10 plus postage, just a six of them knives, I sell them fairly regularly actually, so you can see there's going to be a bit of money in here, there's also a cake slice, I don't know whether there's, doesn't look like there's anything on that actually, which is a bit of a shame, because that would have, oh no, no I don't think there's anything on that actually, but you can see there's plenty of cutlery in here, there's some random, didn't even see these actually, but some random stuff, so what I'll do is I'll, you know, make these little sets up with it. There's, obviously, there's a lot of this stuff in here. This um, uh, stainless steel. I don't know what the makers are on there. I can't see it, actually. Yeah, I can't see it. It's not going to come out on the camera, either. But even that stuff is a big set. We'll get some good money for it. Um, and then we've got some spoons in here, as well. Again, these are the EPNS from the EPNS set. So it looks like we've got... Possibly we've got a uh, fair size set of these EPNS and we've got a fair size set of the stainless seal and then we've got a few bits of these ivory ones we've got also the, the forks in there so I'll sell the forks with the knives and possibly get a little bit more money out of the forks but there's got to be what 40 50 quid in that maybe even a little bit more so from a fiver I'm pretty happy there uh, you never know I might find something half decent in there she did tell me that there's no silver in there um, obviously I didn't expect that anyway I mean Possibly she could have overlooked and there might be one piece of silver in there, but I highly doubt it I reckon if she said there's no silver in there, then there's probably no silver in there But yeah, there's just loads of different bits and bobs in here It does look actually it's becoming more apparent as I'm kind of wading through this But it is probably two big sets in here, but that's fine because obviously it makes it easier for me uh, In selling the items if it was just a random mishmash of stuff It'd be a bit bit harder to sell, but if I can set them up, if I can kind of lock them up, then I can do some uh, good little bundles or a good couple of bundles and, uh, yeah, make some decent money on that. So, fiver for that lot. Pretty happy with uh, my purchase there, and there should be some good money in that. So, yeah, don't overlook cutlery. However, normally you, you can't, you know, people charge a little bit too much for it or 
there's only small amounts at car boots or whatever normally you can't find a good size job lot so yeah anyway that's that lot there i thought i would continue the haul on in this style for this job lot because obviously it's just going to be far too hard to get up um you know piece by piece individually or whatever so let's just kind of have a hands-on look at this uh, and this job lot cost me 25 pound now i do not know what i'm doing with wooden stamps um so yeah i didn't know whether that was a good price or not now if we just take a look at a few of these on here see we've got just a fairly large stamp here you can see there the original price i'm just going to maybe try and focus that in a little bit more i'm not sure whether it will 12 pound 60 uh, the craft basket obviously just a, a little craft store there but 12 pound 60 that one was stickered up at so i paid 25 quid for all these i'm just going to focus it back in again uh, there we go so yeah 25 pound for all these these are all christmas ones in here again that's a very similar size to the other one i just showed so if that one well, well actually it's got a price on again here 12 pound 69 so there's got to be some good even if i can just get half of the prices the stickered prices for each of these i'm doing really really well now it looks like there's about 50 in here but there's actually way more than that because my mum actually had a few of them out she she couldn't help herself but have a little bit of a root when i got back from the car boot um and there's loads of little ones in here there's loads of these little ones like down the sides and everything there's absolutely tons of them there's probably close to a hundred actually i know it, i know it doesn't look like it but seriously there's probably close to a to a hundred in both of these uh in both of these boxes here so i've probably got them for around 25 to maybe 35 pence each um now i've not done any research on these uh it was a complete blind buy i didn't do any research when i got back i did well it's a bit of a lie because after i bought them i did a very or sorry before i bought them i did a very quick bit of research to see if i could find anything similar on ebay and to be honest there's loads of listings with brand new stamps um and you know a lot of them have just gone for one two three pound and stuff but they're not really the same ones as these or some of them are really small and stuff so i think if i do little bundles of these or something or i do a multi-listing or whatever it may be i'm not sure how i'm gonna sort of lock them up but whatever i do i think i'm gonna get some good money out of these to give you a price would be complete speculation on my part but I can firmly say right now, it's going to be way over 100 quid. It's possibly even going to be up into the hundreds. It's possibly going to be 200 or 300 quid. But really, it is just complete speculation on what I'm going to get. And obviously, it will depend on how I choose to sell them, how I choose to lock them up and all the rest of it. Um, but yeah, I think I've done fairly well from a bit of a blind buy there, 25 quid. Um, I know Zahir, was it Zahir who had a load of these stamps? So Z, if you're watching this video... Let me know down below, have I done okay or was it like uh, not brilliant? But either way, it doesn't matter. I'm going to get money out. I know I'm going to get some money out of them. But um, yeah, just how much is, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I'll flip you around now and I will sign off this video. So that was the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Uh, I spent, was it, uh, how much did I spend in total? Oh, it's up there. 66 quid I spent in total. I think I'm covered with the stamps, to be honest. I think I'm going to get that that back and more with the stamps. Um, and then everything else is just profit. And again, it just shows, don't worry on an individual item basis if you make a fail. Right, for example, chain reaction. I made a fail on it. Um, you know, you could even argue that Dalton jug. Maybe it's a bit of a fail. Maybe I won't get 20 quid for it. I'm not sure. But... Even so, if I don't, it doesn't matter anyway on the whole because those stamps are most probably going to cover all of that money and then whatever else I get for all this lot down here, even if it's only a fraction of those prices, it's profit on top anyway. So that's kind of how I look at it. So don't worry. And I know there's a lot of people out there who are quick to judge, who are quick to say, well, oh, you made a fail on that. Oh, yeah, you must, you must feel like an idiot. You must feel so stupid. Why? Because on the overall scale, it doesn't matter. You're going to make money on the stuff anyway. So it doesn't, it really doesn't matter if you're going to make a fail on an individual item. Where it does matter is if you're starting to make fails on every item. If it's every item you're making fail on, or you can't, um, you know, recognize a good margin from a bad margin or something like that, and you're starting to make fails on every single item, that's when it gets bad. But so long as you kind of have... 
um, the recognition, the intelligence to be able to understand a decent margin and to obviously try your best to pick items up for a good margin and then every now and then you're just making these little fails or even once or twice in a haul you make a fail that's not going to that's not going to matter too much because on the overall scale it's going to pay off for you um, so just keep going with it don't worry about what anyone's saying about you know oh well you know you might have made a fail on this and oh you must uh, seem stupid or whatever don't worry about that um, it's going to work out for you anyway and uh, just keep plugging on with it and you'll be fine so uh, yeah i'll leave it there for today's haul guys if you did like the video then please do give it a like down below if you haven't already then please do consider subscribing to the channel i do all manner of videos some of which are humorous some of which are crazy, some of which are just quite normal actually. But I do an all manner of different videos. So yeah, subscribe to the channel and I can I can assure you that you won't uh, leave um, in a state of boredom. You will leave feeling enriched or entertained in some way, maybe a little bit educated at times as well. But you're going to leave my channel feeling like you've got something from it, it, whether it be entertainment, education, whatever. So I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you very much, and I will see you in the next one.